Linda, and today in this video, you're gonna learn all the tips and the tricks that you need to make your drapes look absolutely perfect and so professional. One thing we do all the time is we shape the buckram. So buckram is that four inch stiffener that's sewn into the top of the drape. What's really important about this buckram is it keeps your drapes looking really custom. So it's not gonna droop, they're gonna keep that stiff form and your pleats are gonna look really, really good. So we want your pleats to come forward and the extra fabric of your drape to hit back towards the wall. So you can take your buckram and squeeze the backside of the drape so that you've creased that extra fabric so that it always heads toward the back of your wall. Sometimes the inside edge of your drapery will want to curve out a little bit and then you can see that drapery pin. So shaping the buckram is a great way to hide that drapery pin. So you would just squeeze the fabric just a little bit so that it's kind of headed towards your window and that way the drapery pin isn't exposed. So shaping the buckram is a really great way to get the tops of your drapes looking picture perfect. If you've just hung a stationary drape, the best way to make your drapery look really professional is you're gonna space those rings exactly the same amount apart. You've got a little bit of leeway, you can pull your drape open a bit more, you can squish it together, but either way, you just wanna make sure the rings are spaced exactly apart, and that's gonna look really clean and really organized. Another thing we feel that's really important is taking out the wrinkles that may come in your drapes. Our fabricators do a really wonderful job folding those drapes and packaging them nice, but once in a while, you'll pull them out and you'll have some wrinkles. So what we've liked to use is Downy Wrinkle Releaser. You can get this usually at Walmart and Target in the laundry section. So what we do is we'll always test a little portion of the fabric first, maybe down at the bottom and kind of back on the, on the back side and spray a little bit on there. Make sure it doesn't leave any type of mark, like a watermark, or it doesn't pucker your fabric. I've not had any bad experiences with this before, but it's always safe to test it. You would want to test a little bit and then let it dry completely before you really know what it's going to do. So I take the downy wrinkle releaser and I spray it on the obvious wrinkles. I don't spray it on the creases because we want to keep those creases. So you would spray it on the obvious wrinkles and I sometimes take my fingers and just kind of straighten out, you know, those wrinkles as best as I can. There's been times that I've gone back after it's dried and sprayed it one more time. And that usually is all we need to do to take the wrinkles out of the drapes. Once in a while, you'll have a stubborn drape that either won't cooperate or has a few more wrinkles in it than maybe you want. So what I like to do at this time is I'll take my downy wrinkle releaser and I will just spray it across all of the drape. So what I do is I take just a straight pin and then I take where I think these folds all need to lay and I kind of pin them together. Anywhere you think your drape needs a natural fold and there isn't one, you can do this along the whole side of your drape or just in some spots where you feel like the fold isn't as dramatic as you want it to be. So once in a while, after I've sprayed it and put my pins in place, I'll leave it for about two or three days so that the fabric has time to really learn its new shape. Fabric can be shaped, but you have to be patient with it and do it the right way. It really takes the wrinkles and the folds that aren't necessary out of the drape. Rarely have I used a steamer on drapes. I think most people think that that's the best solution, but I've steamed drapes before and I've had them completely stretch out. If it's a really natural fiber in your fabric, then it's gonna do that. But a lot of times you really don't know. So I wouldn't recommend steaming it unless you have something really stubborn that's not cooperating. So what you can do in this case is just find that really stubborn wrinkle and just steam that wrinkle. Try not to steam the whole drape. And I would also test, just like we did with the wrinkle releaser, test the back portion of your drape, maybe on the bottom side, with your steamer and just make sure it doesn't create a stretching kind of an issue. So I, I don't like the steaming, but um, in desperate situations, you might have to do it. Very rarely, drapes will sometimes stretch. If this happens, it's just due to the natural fibers in the fabric. But if this happens, don't worry, there's a way to make it right. What you would do is on the back side of your drapery, you would take that drapery pin and move it down just a little bit. And what that does is it then lifts your drape off of the floor and no one will ever know. 
Unfortunately, if you've just installed a grommet style drape and this happens to you, there's not a lot you can do except for raising the rod, which is an option. So be really careful during your install that you get it right. If you've just installed your drapes and the bottom of your drape is starting to flare and you would rather have it really nice and straight, a good way to kind of force that fabric to come in a little bit is pinning it, just like we did with the wrinkles. Spray a little bit of the downy wrinkle releaser at the bottom, put some pins in there and kind of pin it so that your fabric is sort of touching each other. Leave it there for a couple of days and then when you take out the pins, it should have memorized a better, straighter form. The last tip we have for you is never wash your own drapes. We recommend taking them to a dry cleaner and having them done professionally. And if you must, you could try and spot clean it very, very, very carefully. And another good way to keep your drapes looking really clean is to just take a regular vacuum with a bristle brush end and just vacuum them off once in a while so that they don't get dusty. Now you know all the tips and tricks even the professionals know, and your drapes are gonna look amazing. We are so excited that you have your very own custom drapes and rods, and we want you to sit back and relax and enjoy how beautiful they look in your home.